Hi, how are you? สวัสดีครับไม่โดนโดนเน็ตหลุดตอนที่แบบสามสิบพอดีเลยจริงเหรอแต่ว่าคือเมื่อกี้ไฟตกตอนแรกไฟตกก่อนแล้วก็มันดับขึ้นมาอ่ะมันมันเข้ามาแล้วก็มันก็ดับไปอีกครึ่งชั่วโมงพี่ก็เลยคิดว่าเอ๊ะทําไงดีแล้วทีเนี้ยพี่ก็เลยไลน์ไปหาเรากับเพชรใช่ป่ะเขาแบบเดี๋ยวนี้นั่นไปเออแต่ว่าทีเนี้ยพอเราพี่ไฟปรับขึ้นมาปุ๊บก็รันสเกจเหมือนเดิมครับอืมชีวิตก็อย่างนี้แหละคนเป็นครูขอให้เน็ตหนูอย่าอย่าหลุดนะปกติหนูก็คือใช้เน็ต Wi-Fi หรือว่าเอ่อมือถือใช้ใช้ Wi-Fi ค่ะแต่ว่าช่วงนี้แบบพออากาศเป็นอย่างนี้แล้วมันแบบพี่ว่ามือถือดีกว่าปะหมายถึงว่าสี่ห้าจีใช่ไหมเพราะเพราะก่อนหน้านี้พี่ใช้ Wi-Fi แล้วก็พี่ก็ปิดไปหมายถึงว่าก็เป็นเอ่อหมายถึงว่ามันก็แบบไม่ค่อยเสถียรเท่าไหร่แล้วแชร์ฮอสปอตก็ไม่ค่อยนิ่งด้วยแล้วทีนี้พี่ก็เลยคิดว่าอ่ะงั้นก็ต้องเอ่อเขาเรียกว่าจ่ายจากดีทงดีแทกพี่ใช้ดีแทกไงก็ไม่ค่อยจะสู้ดีเท่าไหร่แต่ก็ไม่มีสิทธิ์เลือกเท่าที่ควรนักนะครับโอเคเป็นไงบ้างหนูแฮปปี้ไหมช่วงนี้แฮปปี้ค่ะแต่แบบว่ากังวลเรื่องของอะไรเรื่องอะไรเรื่องวิชาโดโดหรือเปล่าครับอาจารย์โดโดโดโดแต่เขาสอบของอาจารย์ก็ไม่ได้ง่ายขนาดนั้นนะแต่ว่าพยายามซิมพลิฟายแล้วก็คือเท่าที่เรียนเรียนมาและไม่อะไรเดียต้องได้นะฮะก็มีคำทรงคำศัพท์ด้วยแต่ว่าก็ถ้ามันง่ายจนเกินไปมันก็อาจจะแบบแต่ว่าจริงๆเราไม่ได้อยากออกข้อสอบยากแต่ว่าด้วยด้วยคอนเทนต์ที่เราสอนมันก็ต้องออกไปตามคอนเทนต์ที่เราสอนหนูเข้าใจปะสมมติว่าเราสอนสอนก็ไม่ได้ง่ายและอยู่ออกคือจริงๆแล้วเนี่ยมันก็ไม่ได้ถึงขั้นยากหรอกที่สอนสอนมาแต่ว่าพอเราสอบเนี่ยมันก็ต้องแบบแอพพลายนิดนิดหน่อยหน่อยแต่ไม่ได้ยากขนาดนั้นก็คือเออใช่ก็อาจจะแบบแต่ไม่มีทริกกี้ก็คือเน้นความเข้าใจเป็นหลักนะฮะโอ้ยหนูมีวิชาหนึ่งที่แบบว่ายากหรอมันเป็นวิชาปฏิบัติอะสําหรับหนูมันยากมากวิชาอะไรวะชาคาวสลิงเหรอใช่ค่ะตัวเองแบบโอ้ยากมากมันยากมากเลยเหรอทําไมมันต้องสำหรับหนูมันมันแบบหนูต้องเข้าใจปัญหาของคนที่แบบคนก่อนอะไรอย่างเงี้ยเหรอใช่แบบปัญหาก็มีแบบแปดแปดนะครับใช่แบบว่าเขาก็โอเคเขาก็เล่าเล่าเล่าแล้วก็ต้องแบบจับประเด็นว่าตกลงอ่ะปัญหามันคืออะไรอะไรเงี้ยอืมสุดเอ๋สุดเป๋นะฮะใช่อลองออนไลน์วิครองวิครองพร้อมยังพร้อมค่ะพร้อมพร้อมไม่ใช่หมายถึงว่าแบบเออนะตามตรงจำนั้นไม่เป็นไรอ่ะ r e g i s t r o n g register อ่ะ speaking นะครับก็ pronunciation ก่อนเลยเฉลยยาวครับ dream ว่าเอ๊ะทำไมคลาสจริงจะแล้วคลาสเนี่ยมันเป็นคลาสที่แบบว่าเหมือน optional มากกว่าคือคลาสหลักมันจะเป็นจันทร์อังคารกับอันคารรหัสที่พิเศษถูกไหมฮะอันนี้ก็จะเป็นคลาสกลุ่มที่เด็กๆต้องเอ่อ stand by หรือ lock flow อยู่แล้วประมาณ3าสี่คนอะไรอย่างเงี้ยครับแต่ไม่เป็นไรก็เราก็เรียนเรียนไปนะครับก็คุยกัน alright so I just want you to practice your pronunciation here one two three go question number one do you have a large family or small family I have a small family, and there are only five members, including my dad, mom, younger sister, younger brother, and I am the oldest son of the family. Mm -hmm. Question number two: How much time do you manage to spend with members of your family? I usually try to spend most of the time with my family, but I cannot manage time when I am out for my university, but After my return from the university, I do not make any late to share the day-long events with the family members, especially with my mom. Mm, all right, good. 
ป็นไงสำเนียงดีขึ้นไหมหนูว่าไม่รู้หนูไม่ได้ยินเสียงตัวเองตอนนี้อ๋อเออแต่ว่ารู้สึกว่าเว้นได้ดีอืมใช่ก็ดีขึ้นก็ถือดูพรักดูพัฒนาดู improve มากขึ้นนะครับก็ได้อยู่นะตอนนี้ก็จะอยู่อ่าระหว่างนะครับพี่ให้สเกลง่ายๆคือหกจุดห้าถึงเจ็ดจะค่อนๆปลายปลายหน่อยหน่อยแต่ยังไม่ถึงโอเคว่าประมาณหกจุดเจ็ดหกจุดเจ็ดถึงหกจุดเจ็ดห้านะครับก็ลุ้นให้เขาปัดจะได้เป็นเจ็ดพอได้เป็นหกจุดหกปุ๊บมันจะอยู่ที่หกจุดห้าทันไหมหมายถึงว่าแบบพอเราบอกเออพอเราเอ๋เพราะจริงๆเราเนี่ยในเรื่องของ pronunciation เนี่ยถูกเกรดออกมา25เปอร์เซ็นพี่มองว่ามันสำคัญใน speaking mm-hmm. อยู่ดีนะครับ mm-hmm. นอกจาก content กระมงกระมา accuracy vocab ซึ่งสองพันนี้พี่มั่นใจว่า dream ทำได้เพราะว่าเราขยันหมายถึงว่าเราเราจดสับถูกไหมเราเราทำ mm-hmm. ตามที่พี่ไกด์ให้หมดเพราะฉะนั้นเอ่ออย่างน้อยๆเนี่ย,ย,ย vocab ต้อง improve ขึ้นกระมงกระมาเราก็รู้อยู่แล้ววิธีการคือกระมาในส่วนของเอ่อ speaking เนี่ยเราหนูต้องพยายามฟังว่าทำไมพี่พูด tense แบบนี้อย่างเช่นหลายๆครั้งเราจะฟังว่าเฮ้ยทำไมต้องใช้เป็น should be able supposed to do that it can't be able to do something อะไรเงี้ยพวก able able มันเป็นภาษาที่เป็น formality ก็คือเป็นเป็นภาษาทางการเองนะก็ปรับใช้ได้ don't worry be happy อะ moving to next question question number three one two three g e tell me about something about your family Well, as I said, we have got five family members in our family, including mm. me. My father is a doctor and my hero. My mother is a school teacher and a loving and caring person. I love our parents very much. We love our parents very much. My younger sister is in grade seven, and she has got all the crazy and creative ideas. And she shares most of her secrets with me. My younger brother is studying mathematics at a university, and he has got a passion for playing football. He dreams to become a professional football player someday. So I have my doubts about it. เฮ้ยวันวักดีขึ้นนะฮะรู้จัก transition ถูกไหมหมายถึงว่าแบบก็คือวักได้ได้ไปขึ้นมันจะทําให้แบบคนฟังรู้เรื่องในสิ่งที่เราอ่านเก็ตป่ะพอเราเราวักแบบสมมติมันมันมันวักผิดเนี่ยมันจะแบบว่าต้องมานั่งคิดตามว่าเฮ้ยว่าอะไรต่ออะไรเงี้ยใช่เออนะฮะก็ดีขึ้นนะครับแล้วตัว for หนูก็ชัดขึ้นเนาะ for for มีความเป็น American accent สูงแต่ก็ that's fine that's fine I hope that you can have better English right next one question number four in what way in what way is your family important to you well My family is the center of my universe. My parents did everything humanly possible to raise me up and ensure my education and well-being. Their sacrifice and contributions for my life and unparalleled. Unparalleled. Mm-hmm. Unparalleled. Yep. Unparalleled. That means, ah, unparalleled. Not possible. Uncomparable. That's it. Okay. Mm. I will always be grateful to be a member of such a happy and caring family. Mm. My family members know me better than any other person, and they will always be with me no matter what. They are the people who had always been with me and support supported me every way possible. I believe that family comes first. And that's why my family is the most important aspect of my life. ดีมากพี่ขอแค่คิวเดียวนะเพราะว่าหลายๆครั้งพอเราเราฝึกสองรอบเนี่ยปกติแล้วพอเราเราพูดเราจะพูดได้แค่รอบเดียวใน reality ถูกไหมครับเราไม่มีโอกาส self correction เยอะนะครับเพราะฉะนั้นเนี่ยสำเนียงดีขึ้นนะฮะถูกไหมไปเตรียมมาหรอไม่ได้เตรียมอะไรมากแล้วก็ฝึกปกติเหมือนเท่าที่เรียนมาเราเรียนกับพี่มาสามเดือนแล้วเนาะตั้งแต่กรกฎาคมกรกฎาคมสิงหาเป็นยาเป็นไงบ้างรู้สึกว่าพัฒนาขึ้นเยอะมากจริงเหรอเอาจริงๆเอาดีๆไม่มีเนี่ยพูดจริงๆพูดจริงๆพูดจริงๆค่ะพูดจริงๆแล้วตั้งแต่สมมติว่าคอมเพลไปตอนที่เราเริ่มเรียนกันใหม่ๆตั้งแต่ January 2021อ่ะเป็นไงบ้างตอนนั้น
ไกลลิบๆหรอยังแบบยังพูดภาษาไม่ไม่ค่อยคล่องใช่ไหมไม่ได้ไม่ไม่ได้เลยเหรอเวอร์ไปไม่ถึงนั้นนะไม่รู้ว่าแต่แต่สำหรับหนูหนูรู้สึกว่าหนูพูดไม่ได้อ่ะหนูจะชอบทำแพลเวอร์กับใครนะพี่ขอเช็คหน่อยพี่จอยชื่อจอยประพิชยาค่ะประพิชใช่ไหมว่าลาลีจะฉับคู่กับสองคนนี้ตลอดใช่ไหมใช่ใช่ใช่ใชอืมโอเคจอยก็โอเคใช่ไหมโอเคปะใช่โอเคค่ะโอเคนะฮะแต่ว่าตอนนั้นก็คือยังไม่ได้แบบ improve เท่าวันนี้เนาะเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวสักสิ้นปีหนูก็ fluent ละที่เหลือก็จะเป็นแบบเน้นพาร์ทอื่นอะ speaking okay. อะถ้าหนู fluent อะก็เหลือแค่ coherent ละแต่ว่ามันจะยากที่สุดในการดึง fluency งงปะหมายความว่าพอเราเรา fluent ปุ๊บเราก็ต้องมานั่ง detect ในเรื่องของไอเดียว่ามันโลจิกที่จะได้คะแนนเจ็ดเจ็ดจุดห้าหรือเปล่าอะไรอย่างเงี้ยเพราะว่าพื้นฐานคือหกหกจุดห้าต้อง fluency มาแล้วนึกภาพไหมฮะใช่ถ้าฟลูออนยังไม่เกิดเนี่ยหกหกจุดห้าเขายังไม่ตัดให้เลยด้วยซ้ําอาจจะลงไปเป็นแบบห้าจุดห้าอะไรเงี้ยซึ่งสปีกิ้งห้าจุดห้าถามว่าเป็นคะแนนกองคะแนนส่วนใหญ่ของคนที่เข้าสอบซึ่งเราไม่เอาไงหมายถึงว่าสมมุติว่าเราเรียพอร์ตโชว์มาว่าสปีกิ้งห้าจุดห้าเราก็ต้องไปรีเช็คอยู่ดีเราจะไม่มีทางภูมิใจกับห้าจุดห้าเด็ดขาดงงไหมแม้ว่าสกิลอื่นจะได้แบบเจ็ดจุดห้าแต่แล้วถ้าถ้าพี่พี่เทรนนะหมายถึงว่าหลักๆที่เทรนไม่ว่าจะเป็น i อ l t s c o r e หรือว่า i อ l t s ทั่วไปเนี่ยคะแนนก็จะกอนอยู่ที่6เป็นที่ speaking นั่นหมายว่ามันจะยากให้หนูรีมายไว้เลยว่าสมมุติว่าพี่บอกว่าได้7ความจริงอาจจะยังไม่ถึง7หนูต้องฟลูเอนจนแบบพี่พี่ดีเทคว่าเฮ้ยเฮ้ยอยู่แบบ 7.5 แล้วว่า I OK เพราะฉะนั้นเนี่ยพอลาไปสอบหนูเพราะหนึ่งก็คือ topic มันจะยากวันนี้เนี่ยเราเราเราคุยกันท็อปิกที่เราเคยคุยแต่วันจริงพอเราไปสอบเนี่ยมันขึ้นอยู่กับ ability to speak อย่างเดียวไหมครับว่าเฮ้ยถ้าพูดไม่ได้ปุ๊บมันจะ drop down ในภาพออกใช่ไหมฮะแรกอย่าง that's it เอ่อมา moving to next slide here question number five one two three go what sorts of things do you like to do together frequently we watch movies in theaters and also go for some day out during the holidays actually my dad likes a lot to go out with the family members when he is free from his professional engagements but my mom prefers going to the cinema and t h u s b a y the kids are to s e t t l e in the issues this You get well with your family. Why? Yes, I get well with my family members. They are supportive, positive, intelligent, and caring. I would not say that we never had any disagreement, but that's usually momentary. Love is stronger among us, and that con con conquers. Yeah, conquers. Con It means achieve. Mm-hmm. Okay, conscious. Any misunderstanding that might arise among us. In fact, I'm happy to be a part of such a wonderful family. They love me as much as I love them. Hmm. Ah, the guy has a little bit. The word "among" just now, you don't need to be. Ah, he calls it "group." It's okay because it means it doesn't mean what it means. So, you use the word "among" to use a tip in order to change the meaning. Get it? So, we use the word "among" to use a tip in order to change the meaning. Get it? So, we use the word "among" to use a tip in order to change the meaning. Get it? So, we use the word "among" to use a tip in order to change the meaning. Get it? So, we use the word "among" to use a tip in order to change the meaning. จะฟังไม่ออกเก็ตป่ะอ่านะครับ um so basically I just want you to see this is kind of vocabulary here for example like his professional engagement here is all about career or occupation commitment or even responsibility so you can use responsibility or even commitment instead of this just because it's kind of academic context here um and one more thing that I I just want you to Um, to notice about this, this light would be um, some kind of adjective that um, describe a person. So basically, it's all about supportive, positive, right? Um, intelligent, right? Caring, um, stimulated, inspiring. So what else can be? Just you just come up with lots of vocabulary in order to mm-hmm. make sure that you can use a proper characteristic mm-hmm. of a person. That's it. Okay. Uh huh. So this one would be um, disagreement, quarrel, right, or fighting mm-hmm. to each other. 
momentary mm-hmm. means um, you know contemporary or even temporary. It means transient; it's not long lasting. So basically, it's all about that. All right, and wonderful family. So you can use lots of collocation here. For example, like a nice family, a warm family, a fantastic family. That's all. พอได้ไหมก็ให้ลงไฮไลท์ให้มันดูเป็นแพทเทิร์นนะฮะโอเคไม่สว่างสดใสนะครับหนูต้องคอมเมนต์นะถ้าเกิดว่าสไลด์ไม่ดีเลยเงี้ยไอจะได้ไปปรับอืมเพราะว่าพอเรา evaluate ช่วงพี่สอนเราในมหาลัยเนี่ยมันจะมี evaluate ในเรื่องของสไลด์ presentation ด้วยเพราะฉะนั้นเราก็เลยต้องวอนตัวนี้หน่อยนึงเพราะวันครั้งถ้าเกิดว่าเด็กคอมเมนต์เรื่องสไลด์เนี่ยมันไม่เกี่ยวกับการสอนเลยแต่ถูกคะแนนจะตกไปไอ้ป่ะหมายความว่าสมมติในสิทธิ์คอมเมนต์สไลด์ดำปีอะไรสมมติพี่ก็จะมีปัญหาแล้วแล้วหลังไม่หมายถึงว่าคือพี่มองว่ามันไม่ได้เกี่ยวกับ ability to change หมายถึงว่าทักษะการสอนไม่เกี่ยวกับสไลด์ถูกไหมแต่สไลด์จะเป็นส่วนหนึ่งของ evaluation อ่าใช่มันก็เลยมีผลนะครับอ่ะ moving to next question here right one two three go Who are you close to in your family? I'm close to every single family member in my own way. However, in terms of sharing personal secrets and spending time, I'm more close to my mother than my father. My younger sister considers me her best friend and Tess, we have a unique relationship. Should we rely heavily on our family? So, Families are is it better to try to be independent? If being independent means living separately and not having a strong relationship with the family, I do not want such independence and freedom. We all we all possess unique personality and a desire to be independent, but that should not harm our family relationship. All right, I think it's good for you pause and stop, right? Just because um you can stop the transition or even um the work that you can stop. So I would appreciate for your progress here. All right, Thank so you. I'm going to say that I'm close to it means you can use intimate or intimacy. Do you understand that intimate or intimacy it means you're close to someone else, right? Personal secret or personal confidential. Confidential would be great, but actually, when when it comes to talking with other people, just using mm-hmm. the simple word first, just because it's mm-hmm. kind of like a natural speaking. Mm-hmm. Okay, you have to speak naturally. So basically, it's all about that. Spend time, spend money, spend amount of time, spend several times. So what it can be, just mm-hmm. um um pick all the word that. Naturally, they are talking about right. Unique mm-hmm. relationship here would be, um, you know, a close relationship, right? A special relationship. So you can use a different word, right? I mean, variety mm-hmm. of vocabulary here, but try to remember, uh, what they are using in the real life. Okay, for example, a like unique relationship, or even um, you know, a close relationship. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, let's say mutual relationship or um, proximity relationship. Oh, this might be a little bit difficult, but I would say that you can uh, remember the kind of word here. It would be great. Okay. okay. Uh-huh. Like for this word, right? Independence and freedom, right? So mm-hmm. it's all about collocation. It mean meaning that the word must come. Uh, together, independence is freedom, right? And freedom mm-hmm. is independent. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this is kind of thing that you can remember lots of things that is related to speaking uh, improvement. Yep. Okay. Okay. Moving to next one, number nine and ten. One, two, three. Go. Yeah. Was this your special moment with your family? Celebrations are remarkable. Particularly, the celebration of any special occasions like a birthday, the anniversary of my parents, or any special achievement by my siblings, each other, and another reason. 
These events have so many special memories and we consider those occasions as our special moments. Are people in your country generally close to their families? Most of the people prefer to be with their families and do everything for the members, but exceptions are everywhere. The people living just opposite of our apartment do not have a strong bond among the family members and always engage in quarreling each, with each other, which is unwanted and indecent. indecent. Mm -hmm. All right, good. So basically for this slide, question number nine, what is your special moment with your family? Uh, when it comes to talk about special moments, so it means that you need to think about um, any cele celebration or a special celebration with your family members, right? Mm -hmm. So basically, you need to come up with a good vocabulary, especially, um, you know, adjective here, for example, like remarkable, fantastic, impressive, right? It, um, special, that's it. So um, just remember that you need to talk a little bit more about the story or even mm -hmm. um, special moment uh, with your family members. Yep. And a question number 10 is all about like, are people in your country generally close to their family? So it's different just because it's different context here. When it comes to talk about our family in Thailand or Thai people respect with the family, there's such a priority that, um, to consider that family members are important in their life, right? Um, mm -hmm. In contrary, I mean, however, in a Western country, um, is a little bit more a different perspective just because they live independently without, um, you know, involving or engage, engaging to a family members. So they might have a, a different reason to talk about that. To talk about family is not important much comparing to a Thai people, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So it's all about mm -hmm. a stereotype or even the um, you know, social setting that we are going to, um, to explain a little bit different in a variety of contexts here, all right? So um, for, for, this, for this, right, I think most people prefer to be with their, sorry, families, but Okay, let's say like you can see the people living in just opposite our apartment do not have a strong bond, strong connection, right? Strong mm -hmm. relationship. So you can use whatever you want to use that have come up in that time. Just because um, I think you can choose just only four um, simple word first, just because um, when it comes to speak, we have to speak spontaneously. We have to speak mm -hmm. immediately at that time. So your brain come up with what word would be. So just mm -hmm. come up with that. Okay. Strong bond, okay. strong relationship or things like that. So whatever it can be. Yep. Um, so for this, uh, for this vocabulary here, advanced vocabulary, unwanted or indecent. So you can see like if you don't know some vocabularies in that context, just mm -hmm. look at the first one first. Unwanted, it means... You don't, you don't want it, is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so indecent would be the same. It means throw it away or it's not popular to do so. That's it. Next one, Okay. Are your friends more, okay. Are mm -hmm. your friends more like your age or different age? Why? Most of my friends are my age and I have a few friends who are senior to me. The reason that I have friends of my age is that they were mostly my classmates in, in Italy and then became my good friends. Most of my friends are from my high school and college that, and that naturally made them to be my age. Do you prefer one or two close friends or many friends? When I was in my early teens, I preferred many friends, but nowadays I have few friends, but they are very close to me. So I would say I prefer having few close friends than having too many ordinary, 
ordinary friends. Ordinary. Right. Ordinary friends. That's it. Okay. Good. Um. So basically, for this question, are are your friends mostly your age? Or a different age, why? So basically, when it comes to talk about friends, so we can imagine or come up with the most realistic situation that we are in the same age. For example, you, you're studying in a college or university, so uh, lots of your friends are in the same age. Am I correct? Okay, so mm -hmm. to me, I got lots of a wide range of friends, friend age, I would say, just because, okay, when it comes to talk about profession or career, I would mm -hmm. say that I have a friends in a different ages. Let's say senior, right? The same age and younger than me. So it means that we have to talk about friends in a different way. Just because when it comes to talk about senior friends, so you need to respect more than the same age of your friends. Is that right? Or even um, if we have a um, different age of friend, we're going to have a different perspective. But anyway, mm -hmm. I think we should share to each other. That's mm -hmm. it. So mostly my friends are my age and I have a few friends who are senior to me. So basically they can come up with a different variety of concept to answer for speaking, right? I would say that when it comes to do writing talks, you need to choose just only one side and try to support it, be mm -hmm. more specific. But when it comes to talk about um, speaking, all right? So it means that the questions require you to choose just only one or two, but you need to cover all of information here. For example, like this one, are my eight as well as a few friends who are senior or younger than me? You know what I mean? So um, mm -hmm. this is kind of thing that you can develop your fluency through speaking just because you have to have, um, you know, lots of information to talk about that. And I would say that the, the tip and strategy for speaking is that you need to cover every reason um, for a single question here, okay? If they ask you to differentiate between the two, you can cover one or two, two or three. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. um, speak more than what you think it would be benefit, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right. Question number 12, do you prefer one or two close friends or many friends? So basically um, when it comes to answer for this question, you need to, I would say you need to imagine or just talking about your own experiences with friends. For example, like if you have close friend, but not many, just a few friends. So just talk about that friends, right? But if you are socializing, if your personality is you, you really interactive with other people. So you can say like, I prefer to have much more friends instead of just only few close friends. Is that right? Okay, mm -hmm. good. Yep, that's it. Next one. Do you usually see your friends during weekdays or on weekends? Why? I usually see my friends during weekends. Weekdays are busy days that after I get back home in the evening, I prefer to stay at home with my family members. Do you prefer to stay alone or with your friends? Mm. I usually prefer to be with my friends. However, there are times when I need my personal time then, and in this case, I prefer solitude rather than companies. Good. All right, for question number 13, do you usually see your friends during weekdays or on a weekend? Why? So basically the, the question lead you to answer for both ways of speaking. You know what I mean? For example, like you can you you always see your friend in a weekday if just because you are a student, you have to study with them, right? And then you can see uh, your friend if you make any appointment to go somewhere else. You know what I mean? So basically, when it comes to speaking, I would say that you need to come up with two responses in each mm -hmm. question all the time. It would be more fluent for you mm -hmm. develop your um, fluency here. 
For example, here, I usually see my friends during weekend, weekdays, right? Weekend, as well as week, weekdays. And a busy day after I get back home in the evening, I prefer to stay at home with my family members, but actually I prefer to going out with friends, that's it, okay? So do you prefer to stay alone or with your friends. So basically you can come up with the first one first if you think that you have a privacy zone or even you are really introvert personality, you don't have to talk with much friends, I guess, with many friends, things like that. And anyway, uh, when it comes to talk about friends, try to make your positive first. It means that um, I would suggest that try to think about what they are doing at that time. It doesn't mean that you have to tell everything about you. It's just kind of a personal thing, right? Try to come up with other people that they spend time interacting with their friends and that's it, okay? So you don't have to imagine that the realistic way to speak is your responses here, but you can come up with other um, you know, perspective. Let's say, um, if you have a friend who really interactive with other people, so it means that um, you can pick up such a situation to involve with you. For example, I'm kind of a person who interactive with other people, even the reality is not, but you have to say like that. This is kind of, um, you know, a tip and strategy for develop your fluency. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes, I know. Yes. yes Moving yes. to next one, please. <laughs> <laughs> the last time you saw your friends, what did you do together? Oh, <laughs> Well, we played badminton together and had our dinner at the nearby restaurant. That's the last thing I can recall doing with my friends and that would about a week ago. In what ways are your friends important to you? I share my common interests with my friends and that makes us have been present activities and conversations together. They are quite helpful and supportive to me in terms of this period of time. I can share almost anything with them and that makes them special to me. Having good friends is like being blessed and that's why they are very important to me. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, so for this question, right, the last time you saw your friends uh -huh. or even any kind of activity that you spend with your friends, right? So basically, mm -hmm. um, you need to think about um, the previous activity or the recent activity that you spent time with your friend. What did you do? Or what was you doing with your friends? And that's it. All right. Um, well, um, we play badminton. This is a kind of sport, right? If you prefer to go to um, somewhere that um, everyone can combine together, for example, like fitness center or um, library or spending time reading, talking mm -hmm. or things like that so just come up with this scenario or even um, you know situation that related to the real life right and mm -hmm. for example like if you like eating eating out at a restaurant right but right now we can see like uh, uh, we have to come up with the reality for example like during this time it's all about COVID-19 so everyone have to stay home um, so basically I just spend time talking over phone talking mm -hmm. over phone or even a chatting in a messenger or social platform would be advantage. And you try to get involved with friends as, as much as possible, right? So things like that. And in what ways are your friends important to you? This one is very important because um, you can create um, a problem first and then you just discuss with your friends and how to deal mm -hmm. with that how your friend give any advice or suggestion to you, things like that, all right? Mm -hmm, mm. Mm -hmm. Like for this one, um, so you can see lots of vocabulary that you can come up with your speaking as well. For example, like place and activities, right? Helpful, mm -hmm. supportive, separate time means suffer. You know what I mean? Suffer, mm -hmm. if you have a suffer or you're struggling with something, right? So you can say mm -hmm. separate time or difficult time, that's it. Blessing, it means happiness, euphoria, things like that. Come up with 
um, variety of vocabulary would be advantageous for your speaking. All right. Mm -hmm. Moving to next slide here, please. <laughs> what do you prefer? Going out with your friends or spending your spare time staying at home? Uh, that depends. Sometimes I prefer being with my friends and sometimes I prefer staying at home with my family members. I try to maintain the balance in terms of spending time with my friends and with my family. For example, while play, playing any other sports, I prefer going out with friends. However, I enjoy watching movies and dining out with my family members. Do you have many friends? Why, why and why not? As I have already said, I had many friends when I was in my high school, but these days I have comparatively prefer close friends. All right, good. Which one do you prefer here? What do you prefer, going out with your friends or spending your spare time staying at home? Mm -hmm. um, let's say um, the question asks you to mm -hmm. cover for two for two options, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first one is going out with friend. Um, imagine that if you don't have any opportunity to go out with friend, it means that you are not human. I would say like that, just because mm -hmm. in reality, it's this kind of thing that is a kind of um, you know interactive activity that we have to spend time going out with our friends. Is that right? Or mm -hmm. even spending time staying at home means right now we can come up with um, the real situation of COVID-19 and try to try to speaking, right? Try to speaking and try to talk with, um, you know, relaxation, spare time, staying mm -hmm. at home. What are you doing about that? That's it. All right, good. Like for this mm -hmm. answer, depends. And then balance, right? While mm -hmm. playing, enjoy watching, that's it. So mm -hmm. the, the response is here um cover for two sides of your speaking mm -hmm. right for this one would be have many friends why why not blah 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 that's it mm -hmm. okay moving to next slide do not turn it now what's the light up out bad have been so fun that one is about unfortunate look man they have ah okay mm -hmm. what do you usually do with your friends i enjoy playing outdoor games watching movies in that teas Theater, having conversations related to current political and international issues, sharing my updates and concerns, going long dive with my friends. The best part is the open conversation we can have related to almost any topic. Are friends as important to you as your family? To me, my family is more important. However, this does not make my, fa my friends less important to me. Naturally, family comes first for almost everybody and then the friendship. I'm not, uh, I'm no ex exception. I'm no exception. Exception, that's good. All right, what do you usually do with your friend? Um, the question explore the kind of activity that you can come up with your close friend or a range of a different friends. For example, like if you are talking about um, a friend um, that you spend time together while you're studying in university or right now or even a past time before, right? So mm -hmm. try to come up with, um, you know, engaging activity that you have to spend time with your friend. For example, like reading books at the library together or um, doing sport games together, or mm -hmm. doing some leisure activities such as singing, or um, you know, entering into the competition together, things like that. Just come up with a range of activities, and then you can uh, improve your fluency for your speaking as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then question number 20, are friends as important to you as family? This is kind of question is different in terms of our social setting i would say that if we are we, if we are talking about um people who live in thailand bangkok city or even thai right so basically mm -hmm. we respect a lot with our family members we cannot deny that we respect family members more than friends 
Mm-hmm. Um, however, when it comes to talk about a different social setting in Western country, such as USA, right? Um, they are quite independent personalities. It means that they don't they don't much um, appreciate mm-hmm. with a family member much, but mm-hmm. they try to spend lots of time with friends just because um, it's all about life that they they want to spend time with. So it's different. Um, you know, perspective here to discuss mm-hmm. about it. Yeah. เป็นไงบ้างดีไหมอาจารย์ขอดูก่อนไม่มีแล้วละเหนื่อยไหมไม่เหนื่อยค่ะประมาณนี้นะครับถ้าหนูพูดเหมือนที่พี่พูดได้จะได้ประมาณแปดจุดศูนย์โอเคไหมโอเคแปดจุดศูนย์แต่ว่าอยากได้แปดจุดห้าแต่ทําไม่ได้ได้แค่แปดจุดศูนย์แต่ก็เวอร์อยู่เนาะเวอร์ไหมเวอร์สิ <laughs> แอบเวอร์ไม่แต่ว่าเราทําได้อยู่แล้วดรีมก็เฮ้ยแต่ว่าหนูพัฒนาขึ้นมาหนูใกล้ๆอันนั้นแล้วอ่ะพัชราภาใช่แล้วนะเพชราภาโหโหดนะคนนั้นเก่งนะใช่ใช่ไหมเก่งอยู่ไหมก็เหมือนจะเก่งอยู่นะซาวด์เนทริกอยู่ใช่ป่ะใช่ภาษาอังกฤษเขาแบบก็เลิศอยู่ไม่แต่ว่าก็แบบก็พร้อมอยู่เพอร์เฟกอยู่อย่างนี้หรอไม่ถือว่าไม่พร้อมอยู่พร้อมเลยอ่ะแต่ว่าหลายๆคนในซโคเก่งนะผู้ชายก็หลายคนที่เสี่ยงแบบ proper pronunciation เยอะเหมือนกันใช่ปะเอ่อหมายถึงว่าน้องๆที่เรารู้จักเรารู้จักในเมเจอร์เราทุกคนปะรู้จักค่ะทุกคนเลยอ๋อก็สนิทกันใช่ไหมหรือว่าหมายถึงว่าแบบคุยได้ไหมใช่คุยได้ทุกคนเลยทุกคนเลยนะครับหนูเป็นคนที่เรียนเก่งที่สุดในเมเจอร์ไหมเนี่ยไม่กล้าพูดอย่างนั้นไม่รู้เหมือนกันค่ะแบบไม่ไม่รู้ว่าเราไม่รู้เลยเหรอว่าคนอื่นได้เกรดเท่าไหร่ไม่ถ้าเพื่อนไม่บอกเอาแปลกเนาะสมัยพี่อ่ะพี่เฮ้ยมึงได้เท่าไหร่เลยมันจะมีการถามตลอดนะไม่ไม่เหรอเอาแปลกหรือว่าโควิดวะเกี่ยวไหมเพราะว่ามันไม่ได้เจอไม่เกี่ยวแบบมันเขาเออแบบมันเพื่อนไม่ค่อยไม่เกี่ยวหรอไม่ไม่ถือว่าไม่เกี่ยวโควิดที่เราไม่ได้เจอเพื่อนไม่เกี่ยวหรอไม่เกี่ยวค่ะเฮ้ยแต่ว่าถ้าเกิดว่าแบบสมัยมันก็ต้องถามปะหมายถึงว่าเราอาจจะไม่รู้ของทุกคนแต่ว่าอย่างน้อยก็ let's say ว่าครึ่งหนึ่งของคลาสก็จะทราบว่าใครได้เท่าไหร่อะไรบ้างไม่รู้เหมือนกันนะสงสัยแบบโลกมันเปลี่ยนไปแล้วมั้งน่าจะไหมคะไม่รู้เหมือนกันแต่ว่าเราเราก็ไม่ทราบใช่ไหมเออแต่ว่าเก่งๆเยอะน่าจะได้เกรดดีแหละคิดว่านะครับภูมิใจไหมได้เรียนมสว happy ไหม happy มากหนูสมัครประธานเอกด้วยพี่โดโดไม่หมายถึงว่าหนูตั้งใจที่จะเรียนมสวเลยเหรอหรือว่าตั้งใจเรียนไซโคอ๋อไม่ได้ตั้งใจเรียนไซโคค่ะตอนแรกแบบจะไปทางสายวิทย์แบบวิทย์มากๆเรียนอะไรสายวิทย์เภสัชอ๋ออยากเรียนเภสัชก็เลยตั้งใจเรียนอ๋อแล้วทำไมหลุดมาเป็นไซโคอ่ะเพราะว่าคะแนนก็สูงนะไซโคอ่ะคะแนนฟิสิกส์มันเอ่อเป็นวิชาเดียวที่หนูเรียนไม่ได้มันแบบไม่ผ่านเกณฑ์ด้วยซ้ำอ่ะใช่ก็เลยแบบว่าจริงๆไม่ได้ไม่ได้ชอบวิทย์ขนาดนั้นด้วยค่ะเรียนตามพี่อ่ะแบบเรียนตามพี่อ๋อพอเราเรียนนั้นก็เพราะพี่เรียนแล้วแบบว่าเออมันน่าจะดีอะไรเงี้ยแต่ว่าพอเราเริ่มมาเรียนไซโคเป็นยังไงแฮปปี้ไหมแฮปปี้มากพี่โดมากหมายถึงว่าท่านท่านหนูไปเรียนเภสัชหนูจะแฮปปี้มากกว่าไหมหรือว่าอย่างไรเอาทําไมอ่ะมันไม่ชอบมันแบบมันไม่รู้ว่าเรียนไปทําไมอ่ะแบบเรียนเคมีอ่ะก็คือแบบอ่ะเคตอนเรียนแบบเภสัชที่ไหนเภสัชมสวเหมือนกันเหรอก็มีเภสัชมสวเนี่ยใช่ปะศิลปากรค่ะแบบจะยื่นศิลปากรหนูยื่นที่ไหนบ้างอ่ะยื่นแอดอย่างเดียวปะหรือว่ายื่นรอบไหนรอบสองค่ะเป็นมันเป็นรอบโคต้าที่แบบว่าให้ไปสอบข้อสอบของศิลปากรอืมแต่ว่าแล้วมามสวนี่รอบไหนรอบสี่รอบสี่ก็ระบบอันนี้ชั้นสิสเกลใหญ่เลยถูกไหมเออรอบหนูยื่นรอบสามหนูติดเกษตรไปแต่ว่าแบบมันเลือกสายแล้วว่าคือเลือกจิตวิทยาอุตสาหกรรมแล้วหนูก็ไม่เคยเรียนจิตวิทยาแล้วหนูก็ไม่รู้ว่าแบบแต่ว่าเรียนมสวดีกว่าพี่ว่าเออไม่จริงจริงมันก็มันก็ได้ทุกที่แหละแต่ว่าภาษาโคที่ดังสุดที่เป็นเอ่อดูว่าก็จะเป็นจุฬาเนาะเด็กเก่งเข้าไปเรียนเยอะมากอืมเพื่อนน้องที่สูงอ่ะน้องที่พี่ใช่น้องที่พี่สอนไอเอลแบนเจ็ดหลุดหมอก็ไปเรียนไซโคที่จุฬาหมายถึงว่าเรียนไอเอลกับพี่แล้วแล้วได้แบนเจ็ดแต่หลุดไงเพราะว่ามันมีคนสูงกว่าเสมอเนาะหมายถึงว่าเขาจะเข้
ถูกไหมมากมากเวอร์แล้วมันเป็น dual degree ด้วยนะหมายถึงว่าเป็นออสเตรเลียคริสเลนมาจับเพราะฉะนั้นถ้าเกิดว่าเราเก่งภาษาเนี่ยไปแลกเปลี่ยนได้เลยก็คือได้2 degree ใช่ก็ดีนะถ้าเกิดว่าได้ดีกรีเพราะว่าถ้าเราจบมหาวิทยาลัยในไทยเนี่ยเราทํางานเมืองนอกยากงงไหมเราจะแบทเทิลในเมืองไทยเท่านั้นแต่ว่าเกิดว่าสมมติหนูจบควีนส์แลนด์หนูก็ไปสมัครงานควีนส์แลนด์มันจะแรงออกมาเป็นแบบเทียแบบแบบท็อปแรงของโลกเนี่ยอ่าเก็ตป่ะมันก็จะดูแบบไฮโซนิดนึงเพราะฉะนั้นเนี่ยก็เลยเรคคอมเมนก็แต่ว่าน้องเขาแบบว่าเก่งมากนะแบบเรียนไอเอสได้ได้เจ็ดเนี่ยแบบพี่ว่ามันก็แบบดึงมายากแล้วเพราะส่วนใหญ่เนี่ยคนที่ได้เจ็ดเนี่ยจะติดหมอหมดแต่ว่าเพียงว่าไม่ไม่แน่ใจเหมือนกันว่าอาจจะมีปัญหาเรื่องคะแนนอื่นๆที่ต้องยื่นด้วยเหมือนกันอะไรเงี้ยใช่ก็ไม่เป็นไรหนูก็ฟลูเอนซีคือดีขึ้นแต่พี่รู้สึกว่าฟลูเอนซีแบบเพอร์เฟขึ้นหมายถึงว่าแบบดีขึ้นมากถูกไหมใช่ไหมใช่ใช่ป่ะเอาลองวิเคราะห์วิเคราะห์ก่อนเวลาเวลาซ้อมพูดเองรู้สึกว่าแบบฟลูคืนก่อนหน้านี้เนี่ยวราลีจะเป็นคนที่พูดสังกิตโมโนโทนมากมีความไทยแท้แบบชาติกำเนิดไม่หรือว่าอันนี้ไม่นับไม่นับเพราะว่าแบบเท่าที่ฟังก็พี่พี่อาจจะเห็นลักษณะนี้เยอะแต่ว่าด้วยความที่แบบว่าพอเราพี่เป็นดิวเตอร์เนี่ยพี่จะเจอเด็กอีพีค่อนข้างเยอะแล้วหนูเข้าใจฟีลเด็กอีพีว่ามันฟลูเอนซีมันมาหมดบางคนเนี่ยอาจจะพูดคล่องกว่าคือพี่จะเป็นพูดช้าหน่อยเพราะพี่เป็นครูเนาะต้องพูดได้แบบชัดถ้อยชัดคําแต่ทีนี้เนี่ยเด็กบางคนก็จะพูดฟลูเอนกว่านั่นหมายว่าเราต้องฟังให้ทันใช่แต่ว่าฟลูเอนแบบเขาเรียกว่าไม่ใช่ฟลูเอนแบบ professional คืออย่างพี่อะพี่จะคุม accuracy กระมงกระมาด้วยถูกไหมคือพอเราพูดเราไม่มันจะดูแบบเหมือนพูดวิชาการไปแต่ว่าเด็กที่ฟลูเอนเนี่ยถ้าที่เรียน IELTS เนี่ยคือเหมือนว่าทุนเดิมของเขาคือ fluency แบบคือพูดกับฝรั่งไม่ไม่ไม่มีปัญหาไฟลับทุกคนเลยไงใช่เราก็เลยต้องมานั่งปรับในเรื่องของไอเดียไอเดียใช่นะฮะอ่ะถึงคิวหนูแล้วแหละเรียนคนเดียวเหงาหงอยนะฮะอืมสองเอ่อพร้อมไหมหรือว่ายังไงหรือว่าจะเปิดดิสคัสเอาเป็นว่าเดี๋ยวนะพี่กำลังคิดอยู่เพราะว่ามันมีเรื่องสตอรี่เยอะถ้าเกิดว่าหนูไปทำการบ้านพาร์ทนี้แต่ว่าหนูมานั่งคุยกับพี่เป็นดิสคัสยากยากดีกว่าอืมอยากดิสคัสมากกว่าใช่ไหมเออตัดไปเลยงั้นพี่ทำการบ้านเนาะสามจุดสองมากไปเลยครับโอเคหน้านี้การบ้านจบปิดจบ a l right เอ่อจริงๆแล้วมันเป็นสไลด์เก่าที่พี่เคยสอนให้น้องจีนใช่ไหมมันก็จะเป็นหัวมันอันนี้คือสไลด์ที่แบบว่าใช้สอนในนั้นไงใช้สอนเอ่อ Chinese student นึกภาพไหมไม่ได้ไม่ได้ทำใหม่มันก็จะเป็นแบบหนึ่งสองสามไล่ไปโอเคไม่เป็นไรก็เอามาสอนเพราะยังไงหนูก็แต่ว่ายากนะสไลด์เนี่ยถ้าเราดูแล้วอืมโอเคไหม so I'm going to ask you and you have to respond to me immediately is that okay I mean if you you have to think you just say well or in my opinion to me I think as far as I know things like that right just come up with this this kind of thing would be great okay good um the question number one here what are the benefits of younger and older generations Living together. How about the drawbacks? Do you understand? Well, uh, yes, yes. Right. Um, well, uh, if in the view of family, um, the benefit that uh, people who have different gap age live together, I think is have more benefits because older people can help the younger people to pass away about uh, like the task or some obstacles and give them some uh, like suggestions. Um, but in the drawbacks, of course, um, people who have different age gap always have some different op uh, opinion in some uh, in something at, a, at, at the time. For, for example, um, me and my mom always have Different opinion about um some point that I I have some point that I think this is this is new and this is right but she always have something that she depend on but um it's it is the nature that we always have some disagreement uh and I think um it's always have more benefit than the like obstacles or like the dark side. 
Mm-hmm. I see. Good. Um, I think the benefit of younger and older generation living together would be like uh, it costs several benefits more than drawbacks. I would say just because a different younger generation as well as a different older generation, they can share some, um, you know, different perspective or different um, different opinion. For example, like if we are going to talk about education in the previous time, so older generation mm-hmm. might think that a teacher would be a center, right? A center mm-hmm. or a player as an important role to teach a student, and the core base would be and the core base of a teaching would be, um, you know, lecturing in front of the class, and that's it. Mm-hmm. But now we can see like younger generation, when we are discussing about education, they're going to have a different perspective just because the student had learned by themselves. So the teacher would be facilitator and we have to correct them in order to make sure that they got, um, you know, um, an important information from the education. You know what I mean? And any cause of drawback would be um, just because a different perspective may cause some advantages among, you know, generation. For example, like um, we can see, like if we are talking about politics, so younger um, generation mm-hmm. might prefer liberality or I mean, freedom or independence, right? Things mm-hmm. like that. But for some people or older generation, they might fix or stay with something that they wanna live out from a comfort zone, things mm-hmm. like that. So it might cause a little bit drawback when it comes to combine to each other, right? Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, next question for you, which do you prefer most support from family or support from friends? Why? Well, if I have to choose about the support from family or friend, I would uh, pick my family because um, they are the people who uh, like live with me and always, always um, like like there with me all of my whole life. Maybe almost all of my whole life. Um, but uh, I also prefer to have some support from my friends too because they are in my life too. Especially in the university, that sometimes my parents or my family members don't understand what the problem is uh, but my friend know and they can support me mm-hmm. all right so for this question right i think which do you prefer most support from family or support from friends so basically i just um you know um give you a tip and strategy that you have mm-hmm. to cover for both aspects mm-hmm. that we are talking about right support from family is all about like support from um what you will required to get it for example like financial support i think mm-hmm. it is important to talk uh, to talk about financial statement or financial support with the family members just because they might not have any reason not to have you at all is that right anyway mm-hmm. for some reason that we are going to talk or even as apart from friends just because we are living in a different age from a family members just because we have a father mother or um, young brother sister who have a wide different of ages is that right and as apart from friends would be like yeah, if we got hurt from something for example like um, loving relationship or things like that is that right so i would say that as apart from friends would be more beneficial to reconsider mm-hmm. which kind of things. Is that right? Good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Next question, is it important to visit family members? Why? Oh, well, in my opinion, I think it is important because I, I think my dad and my mom maybe uh, miss me and maybe they need me to to come back. And I also think like I, I need to to see and to visit my parents because of we have some bonds. Uh, I live at home um, when I, I leave my house to, to study in boarding school when I was uh, 15 and it's, I think it's too young and I always, I always need to visit them because I think about them and they also thinking about me too. 
and um, this is the like the important reason that I miss my mom dishes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep, I do agree with you. Just because it is important to visit family if mm -hmm. we are far away from our family members, right? So, um, mm -hmm. let's say like in the reality, like uh, lots of people are coming to a city. And then they're far away from the family members if they live in different places. So I would say that visiting family members is required to those people who are working in a different city from their, um, you know, family members live in. Is that right? I mean, um, this is very important to say that just because we have to visit in order to make sure that they are strong or healthy enough mm -hmm. to talk to it. And this is kind of thing that we can keep um, relationship between a member of a families mm. for long lasting i would say yep and next question are friends more important than family what do you think about this uh well i would say um, for me the family is important than uh, more important than friends because uh i don't have the like um the stable a relationship with friends uh we just achieve from the school and i feel like we we achieve some goals together and we done um but in family uh they never like never never lost or never never far away from my life mm -hmm. and then they are important than friends but um but if my friends have some problems of course i will help them too Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I would say that for this question of friends, more important than family. So mm -hmm. when it comes to talk about this, this is kind of a different thing that you can come up in your, your own ideas. For example, like if they start with friends, it means that they are going to set the priority of friends more important than family. It once they start with family, it would be more important than friends. You know what I mean? So for this question is depend on a different um, different opinions, I would say. So basically, as I mentioned earlier, that um, a different stereotype of such a setting may have a different perspective to what friends and family, mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. is it important um, to talk about that? I would say that friends might, for if you are choosing that a friend is more important than family, you need to come up with a reason. For example, like to me, I think friend um, that I usually spend time together with is more than a family spending time together. Even mm -hmm. I set my family as a first priority, but the friend mm -hmm. is uh, living together in daily. So it means that the priority of friend might be more important than the family members if we mm -hmm. live in different, I mean, different um, social setting. For example, in the US, they're going to have a friend's importance than a family just because um, they spend lots of time engaging mm -hmm. with friends more than a family. Or mm -hmm. even you can say that um, just because the friends are the same age, so you can spend time with friends, boyfriend, girlfriend more than a family member, just because uh, the difference of age might cause any misunderstanding together. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Next question for you. Um, are you pressured by your family to act in a certain way? Uh, uh, can you explain? Is, um, for family? example, like you need to dress appropriately just because your friend didn't allow you to do like what you want to do. Or mm -hmm. you have to study hard just because your family member expect you with a high expectation in your academic achievement uh, yeah, or see. even things like that. So do you think it is pressure for your life that I engage on your work with family members? Uh, I would say that my family not praise or push me about the academic 
Oh, but they use too when I was a child because they need me to read the book. They need me to 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 do the activity that my my sister did. Um, but um, I feel like they give up about me about my academic result uh, when I was just eight years old. And after that, I tried everything by myself. I tried to improve myself by myself and. I think my parents didn't expect about that anymore when I was a child because I I feel like they they thought that I maybe not don't like to study. Um, this is in the academic field, mm -hmm. but in the another field like the behave or the um like social perspective, they always affect about that very much. They really concerned about how people look at me or how how could I date in the appropriate that they always pace me in the certain way that the social always think is it the, the good way to do. Uh -huh. All right, good. Just because, um, you know, like uh, for these questions kind of um, things that we can see a different perspective from a different people. For example, mm -hmm. like if you, you are you are female, right? It, you are mm -hmm. different from men, so the pressure of a family members might might have a different, um, you know, different action plan to oh. those people who have a different genders. Is that right? Okay. For example, like if um if we are talking about racing or even nationalities, um, mm -hmm. let's say for a Chinese student, they got pressure from their family members to do um the study with a highest performance in academic performances is that right mm -hmm. so it means that they need to work hard study hard and being intelligent mm -hmm. in order to serve the family expectation all right mm -hmm. so this kind of thing that we can see from a different social setting here good yeah mm -hmm. when you people me you learn yeah แม้พี่จะพยายามอิมิเตทว่าท่านหนูจะเอาแบบแบนแปะต้องให้ได้แบบอย่างนี้เลยคือพูดแบบเหมือนแบบพูดแบบหายใจอ่ะใช่มั้
I would say honestly, my parents are really strict, extremely strict, uh, especially in the possibility about work or homework. Um, like they, they're trying to not they're trying like they always teach me to have the responsibility about everything I have to do and do it the best that I can that stay straight. And another thing is um, I have to be like, um, they always think about uh, the act that I have to do to, to relate with the social, to be appropriate person. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they, they are not flexible. They always like have the, um, the extremely line that I have to do. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I have in the, like in some frames that I, I couldn't get out when I was a child. But when I grew up, I feel like my parents have wider perspective then before when I was a child, they have more flexible and uh, especially my mom, she have more like more uh, flexible perspective. For example, I used to talk about uh, my graduate day <laughs> uh, is for two years later, but I always talk to her like, um, you have to come to my graduate days and uh, she said to me, like, everything changed, Jim. You don't have to, like, hold it. And I'm not worried if you don't want to get in the, like, the ceremony or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, next question for you. Do you get along well with your family? Uh, of course. Uh, I close to... To, I close to my family members, especially my sister. And we have the good relationship to every member in my family. I always talk to my mom, not every day, but in a week or four times a week. And we always talk to each other in the, like, she always talk about exercise and eating. But my, my sister always talk to me about the, like, mm, uh, how happened today and what problem you have in the different topic that I talk to mom and my dad um honestly I'm not close to my dad but I always call to him just um once a week to to ask he that to ask him that is he okay is he strong and how how is he going like that but um even I don't not too close to him and not talk too much to him, but we also have this strong bond and relationship. All right, good. And then, mm -hmm. do you get along well with your brothers and sisters? Uh, well, I have only sisters. I have two sisters. Um, the older sister is older than me, 14 years very old and my second sister is already the, older than me nine years we have a wide gap of age right and uh i get along with two of them uh, the oldest sister she have a son and i love my nephews too and the second sister she is like i feel like she is she is jealous with that always shine on the time and she not outdated. She is not outdated at all. And we always talk about the problems like politics, government, and uh, environment, and even my problems that I don't know how to to talk to someone. And I always talk to them. I really get along with my sisters. Some people who heard me talk to them, they say like. Um, did you ever like argue or disagreement with each other because the way you talk to them is really kind and nice? That is, is it not realistic? But in fact, um, I talk to them like that in daily life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, do you like your family? Why, why not? I like my family um, because, uh, firstly, they support me, especially in academic 
that I have to make some decisions about the academic, especially when I entered to the university. It was the first year. Um, they don't expect me to get in or have to, to study in the hard way that my sister used to. And that make me feel like if I, in some families, that parents, some parents always force their children to, children to study in the field that most people feel like it is far more than it maybe have some benefit in the future. Mm -hmm. But my parents, they didn't force me to study the way that they taught. Uh, honestly, they, they don't know about uh, what is psychology or what I would work, but they try to learn, they try to ask me what I am studying. Um, like for example, just, just yesterday, my mom uh, asked me about uh, how counseling in psychology work and I explained to her and she was, listen, uh, she was listening to me like kindly. Mm -hmm. that I feel like I like my family because they always listen to me and they always like respect the way that I have choose. I uh, see. So the last question for you is that what do you do? What my do family. you or your family like to do together? All right. Oh, well, this is an interesting question. Uh, for me, I like to have the meal with my family, but it's so long time that we we didn't have five members in the table in dinner because um, firstly my my oldest sister she uh, now she have a son right and she have her own family it's hard to to put in the special occasion and my second sister now she is in America to study doctoral degree. And now it's, it's have the pandemic, so it's really hard to gather all people in the family. Mm -hmm. But I think, uh, like, I hope that one day we will have the special time to have dinner and talk to each other kindly. Mm -hmm. All right. So what do you do? Okay, it's done for. <laughs> it's done for this already. Good. What's <laughs> going ชอบนะชอบเรื่องนี้จังชอบเรื่องนี้อ่าอันนี้คือคำถามเป็น plain อยู่ก็คือแบบให้ invoke story หมายถึงว่าเราพูดได้มาอีกคำถามหนึ่งได้ไหม so ให้จบเลยแล้วกันนะครับแล้วพี่จะได้ p r e s e อ่าหมายถึงว่า comment ทีเดียวเลยว่าเป็นยังไงบ้างนะฮะ all right so next question for you what is the best memory you have of your family doing something together uh, well, I would say uh, the best memory that I used to have with my family is we have the special occasion in Chinese Festival Day uh, in Thai called the Jin. Um, my father is half Thai Chinese and uh, she always prepare for celebrate the day and recall about the ancestor. Uh, she, he have the chicken, she, he have a lot of things that have to prepare and I like, I like the moment that all of us joined uh, on the table together, especially at my grandparents' house. Uh, my grandparents have a lot of daughters and sons and uh, like all of them together uh, when I was a child to talk and change and uh, do everything together. And it's very fun because I have a lot of friends with uh, my siblings. Uh, after that, my grandparents passed away. Mm, that house, that's my grandparents' house is very empty and very lonely because they passed away and each family uh, is served to each other. I used to, to ask my dad, like, you have to, to, to teach me how to cook and how to save it this day because I really like this day very much. I need to gather my sister and my nieces or my nephews to join to have uh, some dinner and talk to each other and it feel like very cozy. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. All right. So second question for you. Um, would you get involved in your brother-in-law or sister-in-law mm -hmm. family problems? I would say no. I never, I never get some problem with 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 my in-laws, my brother-in-laws. Firstly, um, my older sister, she have her husband. Uh, at first, I feel a little bit dislike him because I feel like he got all my love. Um, my my sister have to like spend time with him. And sometimes I feel like I was forget, uh, I was forgotten. Uh, but now I can accept that. Uh, my second sisters, now she have a bo uh, she have a boyfriend, and I used to talk to him when I video call with her. Uh, for me, I'm I'm not jealous anymore because I feel like because this is his her life and. She needs some partner to take care of her, to to love her, and she love she love she love him. I feel like uh, it is acceptable. All right. So mm -hmm. next question for you is that um um sorry, what kind of housework is not appropriate for a student to do? Well, I was saying that the the work that shouldn't have to to use some some dangerous equipment for example leave uh in the kitchen to help mommy cook uh because uh children couldn't control the hand and sometimes they can control but it's have always have some accidents but i would i, I would i would so about I would talk about my experience. I when I was a child, I used to use the knife and it cut my finger just a little bit, and it's really hurt. Um, but should I also help some another thing that uh escape from the knife, and they can use when they let it, they can control the muscle, the hand muscle, and um can do everything that under their control. Mm -hmm. I see. All right. Next one would be what impact has divorce? divorce. Yeah. Oh, divorce. And um, modern day living hat on a family. Okay. What impact has divorce? Yeah. So, mm. how long Or modern day living hat on the family? I <laughs> just I want to get like a lot of people do. Modern day living is not very hard to live with anyone. Independent. Oh. Maybe that person is not very good. Or person has fans but is not very good. Okay. 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 And grief mm -hmm. is impaired in the mental health for people who didn't need to marry. Is maybe not have the problem if they agree to each other to not marry, but it also have the problems when they they they, they don't understand each other like. One of them need to marry, but one of them, I don't need to marry, I don't need to have a, sh a child like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the last question for you is that where is the best place to raise a family? Oh, well, in my deeply opinion, I think the best place that we need to raise a uh, like I need to raise my child. Actually, that is way that far from the town and PM two point five, and a lot of people and busy days all the time and traffic. I need to avoid the traffic light, and I need to raise my my child at the local 
which is simple and they can they can try a lot of experience to to like cause to the nature to play the soil to like keep some flower pick some flowers maybe like that because it's healthy form for shy to like to learn to to try to to use their physical as much as they can i see <laughs> มีอีกนะยูโอเคค่ะโอ้อันสุดท้ายแล้วยากเนาะยากปะเชื่อมไอเดียยากมากค่ะพี่โดนหนูรู้สึกว่าแบบหนูหลุดประเด็นบ่อยมากเลยอ่ะมันหลุดง่ายมากเลยอ่ะจริงเหรอใช่ alright activity three point three here um what sorry what can makes you happy alright in a long term or short term So you need to consider the following things: pair, job satisfaction, a loving family, good mm-hmm. health, plenty of money, strong religious beliefs. Following. Ah, this is the 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 following. I think anything that would make me happy is about the job that I uh maybe choose, may choose, and uh is is make me feel like it fit to me, is suitable for me. For now, I think the like the highest goal that I need is I need to be the psychologist or the the theoretical who who think or design some theory about psychology. I feel like I need to be the expert in that way. I need to be the best, like the best in the field that I interest in. Uh huh. And the second, I need to like I need the job that I choose make a lot of money to me, because when I have money, I think, uh, many thing or many stuff can be solved by the money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think both of the following mentioned are important for mm-hmm. every aspect. I would say so. I would say mm-hmm. like a job satisfaction, right? To me, I'm working as an English instructor, English tutor, or I'm teaching mm-hmm. what I really want to teach, just because I'm fond of English. So this mm-hmm. is kind of thing that I consider is all about job satisfaction, just because when I You know, wake up in early morning, and mm-hmm. even it is t- tough time mm-hmm. or tired for mm-hmm. a long day teaching. But it's all about satisfaction. So it means that it must be the first priority that um, everyone have to consider with a job satisfaction. I would say, all right. And the second one is a loving family. Just imagine that if you are alone without any support from a family members. I think mm-hmm. it might be cruel, or it might be struggling for some mm-hmm. time. Just because I think, to me, I can do a job perfectly. Just because I have a support and encouraging support from the family members, uh, which are my dad, my mom, my brother, sisters, things like that. So they try to encourage and, you know, never give up with what mm-hmm. I'm expecting to get it. All right. Mm-hmm. So the mm-hmm. third one would be good health. I think healthy. So to be healthy, health, healthy comes first. Health comes first. Mm-hmm. That's it, is that right? Just because uh, living a life with a good health would be fantastic way to do so. I mm-hmm. do believe that once I was um a memorable ex- a memorable experience that I poor at health that I went to a hospital. So at that mm-hmm. time, it was vulnerable thing. I mean. It was struggling at that time just because mm-hmm. I have I I felt that it was a terrible time to got mm-hmm. a poor health. Yeah, mm-hmm. that is the reason that I try to make maintain a healthy lifestyle. I just spend at least thirty two hour to do mm-hmm. regular exercise. Not that um, mm-hmm. intensive exercise, but I would say mm-hmm. that it is kind of like consistency that I have mm-hmm. to do so. For example, mm-hmm. like I just show you, right? Um, this mm-hmm. is kind of thing that I have to do. So just because I want to live in a life with a ment- 
maintain a life with strong health mm-hmm. if as soon as possible. Another reason for money. Um, so let's say that lots of people are expecting to get lots of money. But anyway, money comes from a different people, different personality and different abilities. To me, I would say that being a teacher might not fulfill the expectation of getting lots of money much. If you decide to be a teacher, you cannot expect that you can get lots of money. Otherwise, mm-hmm. you have to go for running any kind of business that can make money or selling mm-hmm. um, you know, a condominium, selling a product, mm-hmm. selling um, cosmetic, things like that would be gain lots of money just because it's all about trending, right? But mm-hmm. for a teacher, you need to sacrifice yourself that you have to give a knowledge, give a, an advice, give a right way to all of children. But it's not cause any, you know, I mean, it, it doesn't mean that you can be millionaire with a profession of teaching. Yeah, mm-hmm. so um, just praise for uh, those people who become to be a teachers just mm-hmm. because they just feel satisfied with what they are mm-hmm. doing. So the last one would be strong religious belief. Just because you're doing right now, do you believe in luck or do you believe in fate of life? Mm-hmm. You understand mm-hmm. that luck or let's say like uh, lots of people just go gambling just because they expect to get something changed for their life. This is all about mm-hmm. religious belief. If you very strong with religious beliefs, I do believe that. You can mm-hmm. be strong internally and externally. I mean, spiritually mm-hmm. or even mentally, right? Things like that, because it gets involved with the body or who you are today. That's it. Well, man. Well, man. Because then, you have to say it like me. Okay, ma. Okay. Ah, that's right. จริงๆแล้วอยากให้แบบว่าโอ้ยถ้าเกิดแต่จริงๆแล้ว class speaking มันก็จะเป็นทรงนี้หมดใช่พอได้ไหมแต่ว่าก่อนหน้านี้พี่ไม่เคยพูดเยอะขนาดนี้ใช่ป่ะพี่ก็จะพยายามสอนแต่ว่าวันนี้รู้สึกว่าดรีมเก่งขึ้นมากแล้วก็เลยคิดว่านะแต่ว่า catch every word that I that I was talking to you right uh-huh. so you can uh-huh. catch yeah. and understand everything good next question for you what was the most important thing that your parent taught you Uh, well, I would say the special thing that my parents always always teach me is about their responsibility, about my duties. Um, they always say that whatever you do or whatever you need to do, you need to have the responsibility about that thing, and um, you need to keep it consistently because. Every achievement cannot like cannot achieve just a miracle, like it cannot it cannot achieve because you sacrifice just only one day or two days. You have to um, like manage time and do it consistently and do it with like the responsibility every day. So that. Uh huh. That good. For you, being a good mm-hmm. girl is what your parent expectation, I guess, right? Just because mm-hmm. um, different yes. genders have a different expectation from parents, I would say, for yes. a business, you know, business family, a business community, they expect that a boy should be a great leader later on, right? Mm-hmm. Just because it's all about like a family business, and that's it. For girls, I would say that you need to. Um, stay kind and behave appropriately, just yes. because life is not easy. Is that right? Yep. Yes. Good. Like that. Next one. What makes a person good friends? A friend for life. Things like that. Uh, well, I would say people who become a good friends. Uh, always. Uh, the first thing and the most important thing is honest or loyal. Um, you have to loyal to your friends because of friends. If like friends relationship is something that um who becomes your friends always has you and they maybe need you to keep to keep something 
and have to like act directly and honestly. Uh -huh. The second is um, <clears throat> uh, when friends become like have some mistakes, um, good friend can can control can tell them that you you did some mistake and you have to prove it. And um, it is like impossible that friends never like this key and uh, never fight to each other because it's possible and people who can fight with you I think um, they become good friends mm -hmm. I think so all right mm -hmm. yeah a good friend a friend for life a life mate so um what do you think a differentiation between my friend and close friend oh my god my thing where close <laughs> friend got boyfriend man tang I think. Yeah, yeah. I just want to know from you <laughs> because because I, I I never heard about this kind of thing before. But I do believe mm -hmm. a close friend can do everything for you, as well as mm -hmm. boyfriend can be everything for you as well. Is that right? I don't know. It's too oh. Okay, so you are in the relationship with boyfriend, right? Okay, so can you check? No, no. I don't have boyfriend. Okay, so you are in relationship with close friend, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, can you share something in common that close friend should do? Uh, in normally, we can have some suggestion and supportive to each other. For mm. me, um, I feel like sometimes I'm hardcore when mm. my friends my, my when my friends told me like i have some problems with someone or i have some problems with something some subject mm. i will listen to them mm. uh, yes i listen to them and um i feel like that thing that have problem is is contrast about what they need and i always told them like do the thing that you need like that because i know um, people too should do the thing that they need even it don't like it don't make some mistake or didn't hurt didn't hurt anybody uh-huh mm -hmm. and um, yeah something that i always support my friends the way that they need to choose and sometimes if it's have some problem um they they talk to me like this and it mm. hurt me or or something that they 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 did to me is hurt me i i try to i try to tell them not mm. too directly because i know it's mm. it's also hurt them too i try to, mm. to say like i feel hurt because of that that, that like that mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. just because just because in common what i'm what I believe is that um, for both of close friend or boyfriend, girlfriend, they have, a, you know, something in common or feeling or even, um, you know, chemistry in common. Okay, once you decide to consider someone to be a close friend, it means that mm -hmm. you can engage and have the same, I mean, mm -hmm. attitude right yes, going yes. going on together or interacting together so for boyfriend and girlfriend it would be like that as well i think just because it's all about feeling right if we um, engage with someone so uh mm. we will try to get involved with them right is that right mm -hmm. and one thing that is different is that if you have you got boyfriend or girlfriend i think you try to change yourself to serve with them but for close friends um, you don't have to do anything much is yes. that right just because we keep understanding to each other and anyway yes. we expect to get boyfriend or uh, girlfriend all the time once in a life just because friends can come to me i mean can come to us every moment of life okay. but boyfriend yes. or girlfriend just expect to have when, at the same yeah. time is that right just because yes. right now you can see like oh, okay if you start with 20 25 or 30 it's fine to mm -hmm. find a boyfriend or girlfriend but later than that it might be different attitude just because the expectation to get boyfriend or girlfriend might be deeper. i mean decreasing time by time is that right mm -hmm. uh, so wow. yeah this is all about like a differentiation what i'm thinking about that yeah Next question, please. Is that what makes a person bad? 
traits that irritate or confuse or harm you in general. Okay. Uh, make a person the bad trait that irritates and confuse you. Um, I, I, uh, can you explain this question? Please? I mean, uh, once you decide not to be engaged with unhealthy relationship with those friends or a friend who have a bad behavior, uh, what yeah. are the you know possible characteristics of them that you prevent mm -hmm. um, doing something together? Okay. Yep. Okay. Like um, cheating or dishonest mm -hmm. things like that. I see. Mm. Okay. Uh, I um uh, for court friends, I. I don't choose some some people who who have different two different too much different perspective for me. Okay, that is it's not too complicated. But um for boyfriends, I I choose boyfriends for uh something that they say like sometimes they too much show off and um they hurt me and I always choose. Some people who become to be my boyfriends form the way that I can do. Like, uh, can I, uh, would I change many things to be uh, his, his girlfriend? If it would, I wouldn't like keep in touch with mm -hmm. them. And uh, I used to talk to a guy and um, I feel like he always show up and like, he listens my my brain something mm. like that like um he feel like it is not important that i am good in the field of academy they they feel like i am just a uh, weak or people who 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 follow the way of the like the social but i really do like my academy like mm -hmm. feel i like to learn but uh he thinks I just need to be like people who who need the mm -hmm. in, uh, like uh, like attention to another people, but mm -hmm. it is it it doesn't because I really like to study. I like to ask teacher, especially mm -hmm. the subject that I really interest in. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, I now am studying in uh, like psychological psychological testing. For mm -hmm. everyone is is really hard and mm. tough because mm. teachers um she she talk for like for long and non-stop mm. and i enjoy <laughs> this it and i always i always ask her like some point that i think is the gap that the state had mm -hmm. and I always ask her and discuss with her and answer her but he thinks i need to be like the point that people uh like in uh like need some extension for another people, but it doesn't, and it's really toxic. So I leave him. <laughs> I see. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. All right. So I think, but I think I do agree with um, those guys who prefer uh, a girl or those girls who act like a normal girl, just because they don't want to stress out much, um, just because. Okay, to me, I, I used to be uh, an academic student before. I, I mean, mm -hmm. like, I, I love studying. I mm -hmm. study hard. I want to get an A in every subject. Oh. And I do so hard, things like that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I just found out that it's not really good for a life during university. Just because mm -hmm. university is this kind of a process that we can meet up lots of guys or girls during this mm -hmm. period of time just because when you um you know finish your university study or you graduated later on you know, it's hard to find out any oh boyfriend or girlfriend God. in your <laughs> life is that right but anyway um it's kind of easy right now just because we can approach into the online online dating this is more easy just because when it comes to do a relationship i i'm, I'm going to share with you that back into the previous time we have to dating with um, a guy or a girl in the common places for example university or even mm -hmm. the working place is that right yeah mm -hmm. and uh, but then right now time changed and you know modern people can find soulmate or even mate 
for a relationship through the internet or dating application. So at first, um, I'm a kind of unbelievable in this thing. But one of my friends, they got, you know, girlfriends or even mm-hmm. boyfriend from that dating application. So congratulations for them. You know sometimes what I mean? Sometimes I will yeah, try. fantastic. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to be reminded that, um, um, you know, the opportunity to get a, a good guy is okay, not common, uh-huh. right? So we have mm-hmm. to evaluate or reconsider again and again. So I'm mm-hmm. going to say that um, if I were you, you got a chance or any opportunity, I mean, next opportunity that you are um, going abroad, right? So mm-hmm. you just, um, you know, come up <laughs> with the days of, um, you know, overseas, like living there and then find out just because you can, you can find um, a straight who honest with you just because mm-hmm. it's a different perspective, just because when it comes to do the online dating, so for mm-hmm. Thai guys, all right, for Thai guys, mm-hmm. it's not that realistic. Okay, I have mm-hmm. um, lots of friends and culture for that, but mm-hmm. for I mean, for a different um, just because for um, they may want um, they interest in those people who have a commitment or a strong personality. You know what I mean? And they love brains more than external experience. I mean, um, external appearances, right? But for Thai mm-hmm. guy, they just want a cute girls, right? Or if yes. I know, like, get something lovely, things wonderful so it's a different perspective so we can we have a choice to choose but it's the right time and right place that's it mm-hmm. ถูกมั้ยประมาณนั้นป่ะโอเคเนาะไปใช้ใช้กันไปใช่ถูกก็ไปหาที่สวิตเซอร์แลนด์เลยจ้ะอืมอะไรยุโรปอะไรเพื่
Uh huh. And mm. it can show that um, they always have the values for the family. My family comes from like the Chinese family too, and um, honestly, I'm not too like too much value to to people who not my parents and um, my close relative. Mm -hmm. For long, I'm I'm not like I'm not getting with them, mm -hmm. but uh another of them who who who, who is not too close to me and have um more chinese uh -huh. they they always have, need to keep in touch with us they they always need me to to get in the like group to not keep in touch but just gather people in the same surname like that mm -hmm. but i'm not i'm not Get in at all. <laughs> all right, good. Okay. เป็นไงบ้างเรียนหนักไหมวันนี้ชอบเรื่อง family อ่ะหรอที่เจ้า family เคยพูดไปแล้วในออร่าปะเหมือน I can raise topic นี้ไปแล้วใช่แต่ว่าอันนี้มันจะเป็นไม่เหมือนกันนะอันนี้คืออันนั้นออร่ามันจะเป็นแบบ p l a n plan ตัวนี้จะเป็น content จะหนักนิดนึงถูกไหมไม่ถือว่าไม่เชื่อ plan plan topic มันจะแบบ daily นิดนึงถูกไหมแต่ว่าอันนี้ก็จะเป็นแบบ discuss เบาๆ fluency ดีขึ้นนะพี่ว่าถูกไหมใช่ป่ะหรือว่าไม่ก็ได้อยู่รู้สึกว่ารู้สึกว่าดีขึ้นเหมือนกันค่ะงั้นพี่ฝากให้เราไปทำการบ้านตัวนี้รู้จักรู้จะพัม record ไปเยอะๆก็แต่ว่าวันนี้คุ้มมากเพราะหนูตอบทุกข้อเลยอ่ะใช่ขุมจริงหนูโอเคนะคะพี่โดโดแบบไม่ต้องกลัวหนูเหนื่อยเลยเต็มที่ได้ใช่ไหมเออไม่แต่มันเหนื่อยนะสอบหมายถึงว่าพอหลับพูดมันเหนื่อยไม่ใช่เหรอตอนอ่านอ่ะตอนอ่านมันเหนื่อยกว่าพูดอ่ะเหนื่อยกว่าใช่ทําไมก็คือแบบว่าพูดธรรมดาอ่าอาจจะต้องแบบโฟกัสอ๋อโฟกัสเพราะว่ามันเป็นไม่ใช่ภาษาของหมายถึงว่าไม่ใช่ความคิดของเราอ่ะเนาะมันเป็นอันนี้จริงแล้วมันก็ดูยากๆนะหมายถึงว่าหมายถึงอ่ะพี่กำลังจะบอกว่าคือมันเป็นข้อความที่คนเขาเขียนมาเพราะฉะนั้นมันจะเป็นภาษาแบบกึ่งๆเอเซนิดนึงคำสรงคำศัพท์มันก็ไม่มีคนใช้แบบนี้ในสปีกิ้งนะเก็ตป่ะอมันก็จะดูแปลกๆแต่ว่าพี่อย่างที่พี่บอกก็คือพี่โฟกัสเฟลลิ่งไงอย่างเช่น sacrifices ตัว e s อะไรอย่างเงี้ย contributions ต้องออกเสียงให้มันชัด unparalleled เดอะอะไรอย่างเงี้ยพวกนี้ใช่ไหมเพราะว่านั้นแหละใช่ไม่มีอะไรมากก็ก็โอเคงั้นฝากหน้านี้นะครับสามจุดสองโอเคหนูอ่านดีขึ้นไหมคะดีขึ้นนะครับแต่ว่าอยากอยากอ่านพวกแบบสำนงสำเนียงเพิ่มที่หมายถึงว่าความฟลูได้แล้วแต่ว่ายังไม่ยังไม่ถึงซาวน์เนทีฟอะเข้าใจปะเพราะว่าพี่ต้องต้องให้หนูอยู่ที่เจ็ดจุดห้าก่อนนะมันถึงจะเพลย์เซฟเพราะถ้าเกิดว่าพี่บอกว่าเจ็ดหมายเขาว่าออกมาก็อาจจะเป็นหกจุดห้าแต่ว่าจริงๆแล้วถ้าเกิดว่ามันเป็นเป็นสกอร์ที่หนูโอเคแล้วก็ไม่ว่ากันเนี่ยพี่หนูว่าถ้าอยากได้แบบแบนเจ็ดจริงเนี่ยก็ต้องให้ติเตอร์ยัดที่เจ็ดจุดห้าเพราะว่าเนาะทุกอย่างมันไม่แน่นอนวันนี้อาจจะมั่นใจพอวันสอบอาจจะมันมันมันเขาเรียกว่า unexpected นิดหนึ่งเพราะฉะนั้นต้อง handle ด้วยกันเผื่อเผื่อไว้หน่อยหนึ่งภาพรวมก็ประมาณนี้ทำไมหนูมีปัญหาเรื่อง spelling หรอไม่มีก็ดีขึ้นดีขึ้นใช่แต่ว่าต้องคอมเพลงไงพอเราเรียนคนเดียวปุ๊บพี่ก็ไม่รู้จะเอาบอกว่ายังไงเดี๋ยวประมาณแล้วแบบพอเราหนูเรียนคนไม่คือการเรียนคนเดียวมันจะฟังจากพี่ถูกไหมแต่ทีเนี้ยสมมุติว่าหนูอ่ะอย่างอย่างคลาสครั้งที่แล้วเนี่ยพอมีมีคนคอมเพลปุ๊บหนูจะรู้สึกว่าหนู better than ทันทีแต่จริงๆแล้วเนี่ยมันมีจะจะบอกว่ายังไงเดี๋ยวมันมีน้องที่ที่แบบฟลูเวนเวอร์เวอแล้วอยากให้ไปฟังอ่ะนึกภาพไหมคือมันมันสมมติสมมติหนูรู้สึกว่าพี่ฟลูเวนเนี่ยให้รู้สึกว่าคนที่ฟลูเวนเนี่ยฟลูเวนกว่าเนี่ยเขาพูดกันยังไงของป้าแบบเบอร์ไหนวะอะไรเงี้ยต้องต้องคอนเชนนิดนึงอะไรเงี้ยใช่เพราะฉะนั้นแต่ว่าก็เบสไลน์ก็คือให้ฟังเสียงพี่เป็นหลักแหละเอาง่ายๆนะครับก็คือว่ามันก็ไม่มีอะไรมากมันก็คือภาษาอังกฤษมันก็ประมาณนี้แหละเพราะจริงๆแล้วเนี่ยพอเราไปฟังคิดถูกไหมคิดสปีกิ้งเนี่ยก็จะคล้ายๆที่พี่พูดแหละถูกไหมหมายถึงว่าอาคิดเขาก็เป็นเนทีฟแต่ว่าพี่ก็จะเป็นซาวแบบอินเตอร์เนชั่นแนลหน่อยหนึ่งถูกป่ะแต่ว่าสำเนียงหรือว่าการวักเนี่ยจะจะใกล้ๆกันเก็ตไหมเราเราฟังเคสใช่ไหมเ
คสที่แบบฝรั่งฝรั่ง i e l t speaking succession เออเออใช่คนนั้นเนี่ยเขาเป็น native มาจาก Manchester แต่เขาพูดช้าไงเขาก็จะแบบว่าคือพอเราเพียบต่อให้แบบพูดเก่งยังไงมันก็ดูเป็น international งงว่าเราคือ speaking มันไม่มีทาง tough native ไงเก็นไหมอืมใช่ก็เป็นอย่างนั้น All right, so it's enough for all of you today, and no more. Happy, right? Yeah, so I'm going to go to bed. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. 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 B